so we're sort of building something up here. Uh, we sketched y equals sine x, then we sketched y equals a sine x. Now we're going to sketch y equals a sine x plus d. We're going to add something to the end of a function. Now if you stop and pause it and think about what happens when you do that, you can probably guess what happens next. So here's y equals sine x. Now if I multiply it by an a value, say uh, 2, you can see it stretches upwards. We already knew that. Now, if I shift the d value, if I add something to the end of the function, I'm going to shift the function up. And I've just added in this dotted green line here. That doesn't really exist. But just to show you that when d equals 1, the center of our um, function around which the periodic function kind of oscillates around is going to be our d value, d value 1. If I move it up to 2, d value 2, I'll just shift everything down a little bit so you can see what that looks like. Now, obviously, if I move it down, now I say d is negative 2, you can see there you go, we've got uh, a function, something like that. So, with that in mind, let's uh, sketch a function. So here's the function I'm going to sketch, y equals 0 0.5, or half, sine x plus 2. All right, is that plus 2 uh, that sort of changes the game for us here. I'm also using 0 0.5, which is going to squash down our function rather than stretch out our function. So the way that I like to work on this is to understand that that d value is a plus 2, and it creates sort of a new center for us. Now, I'm just putting in this lightly. We don't really need it. It's not part of the graph. Okay, but there's my dotted line through positive 2, and that's going to be my new center. It's a sine curve, which means that it starts on the center line. If it was a cosine curve, it would start at wherever the amplitude is. Now, um, the amplitude in this case is 0 0.5 which means that it's going to go only 0 0.5 above 2. So it's going to go up here to 2.5, and it's going to go down here to 1.5. And I might, just so I don't get myself confused, put in another faint line there, and another faint line in 2.5. Now that means that my graph is going to have a middle line through here like that, it's going to go up to that line and down to that line. Now, when does it go? Well, the period is still 2 pi. It still takes 2 pi to go up, down, up back to the center, down and back. Uh, so I can place those points here. So sine function goes here. It'll come up to pi on 2. It'll come down into the center for pi. It'll come down to the, the sort of bottom of its range at 3 pi on 2, and it'll come back up here at 2 pi. And joining those dots, try to keep it nice and smooth. 